Let's look at this week's top three underground releases for that. <laughs> Alright, first up, in no particular order, Mother of Graves, just up the road from me, in Annapolis, Indiana. This band just came out 2019, this is their first EP, they have a couple uh, singles previously, they released this EP in Somber Dreams, January 8th, so three days from today, it's melodic death metal, uh, it really reminds me it, with some doom metal influences as well it really reminds me of the old school swedish death metal scene that had some prog and mellow death elements uh, very much like I, i'm a huge fan of edge of sanity and it reminds me somewhat of edge of sanity so of course i fall in love with this band great band hard hitters excellent Here we have Celestial Swarm. They came out 2019, released their first EP. This is their first 
full length, so their debut came out January 4th this year. This is a newer band. Uh, apparently they have uh, some members from around the world, Australia, France, and USA. Uh, it's a death metal band. I'd say more slam, maybe some brutal death uh, influences in there. I like the old school brutal and slam death metal bands. I love suffocation bands like that. Uh, so these guys are hard hitters. They will you know, just pound it and, and really, really uh, shove your face into it. They, they do a lot of songs about uh, uh, sci-fi. This, this album is called Gateways to the Necroverse. And if I remember this correctly, Necroverse is basically a person or entity that uh, communi- communicates or revives the dead. Uh, and they can use the dead uh, to seek information or to basically uh, uh, use them basically as, uh, as indentured servants or something like that. Uh, I'm just going off of what I remember about the Necroverse, but uh, pretty interesting stuff. Great band, you know, check it out. Buy the album if you can. Finally, we have Concrete Funeral. It came out in 2015 from Calgary, Canada, which is known as Cowtown. Their debut album came out in 2019. They haven't released anything other than what is going to be this EP, January 8th. It's called Covered in Concrete. This is an EP. I'm going to play, or I am actively playing something from their first album and their original, so I don't get a, a strike for playing one of their covers. But they have a DSI cover, Creator cover, Death cover. And Gorilla Biscuits cover, Big Mouth, uh, uh, Crystal Mountain, People at the Lie, and, and The Minds of Evil, you know, kind of reverse order. They're, uh, I, I really love the, uh, the really uh, driving nature. It's not really pounding your face in like the other two bands in, but it's, it's nice kind of death with some thrash elements in there too. Just nice driving, uh, driving metal with some great vocals and great musicianship. Definitely check it out. All 
All right, if you like the content, subscribe. Uh, let me know if I missed anyone. Uh, if someone should be added to the list. Uh, if if uh, you know of a band, it could be your band that's coming up next week or etc. You know, let me know the release date if you can, uh, especially if it's your band. And uh, I'll look into them. Let me know if I miss someone for this month I'll, or for this week. I'll look into them. Let me know if you have any criticism about someone I added or what I said about a band uh, for this week. And uh, check back. I'm going to do these weekly on Tuesdays. Uh, top three underground death metal releases. So subscribe. I'm not looking to be a video influencer. I'm just looking to expand the conversation and keep the conversation flowing of extreme music, you know, death metal, black metal, and I might even do some prog in there because I love prog, but um, this this Tuesday episode is going to be more towards underground black metal, top three releases uh, for underground bands. Uh, I'm to have a formulaic, uh, an openly formulaic uh, idea of what I'm going for. I'm going to be looking most of that Facebook likes, under 6,000. Uh, Facebook likes, but uh, some bands don't have Facebook, uh, even underground bands, which uh, I think they should, but I think Facebook's all about also gross, so I understand why you wouldn't, but, um, you know, maybe 666 uh, YouTube subscribers, you know, just have a base for what I consider underground, um, or 6,000 Instagram likes, uh, etc., uh, but yeah, let me know uh you know, if I miss someone especially, because I'm always looking, always looking to uh, uh, find new underground death metal bands, because a lot of times these uh, more popular bands, you're not going to find a hidden treasure or a uh, nice nugget of someone trying to expand the genre. But uh, a lot of times with these underground bands, they become uh, derivative of uh, of the past but sometimes you can find the spanish just doing something new and amazing and i'm always looking for that so yeah peace out subscribe all that bs yeah see you next week